Flory. Uh, sorry for the long time no chat. I actually didn't have a cycle in January, so I didn't have a need to fill uh, what I wore this month video. Uh, my cycle was about two and a half weeks late, and I think that's just because January was absolutely insane. It was crazy. I didn't even realize I was late until I was almost over a week late. Um, so, but I knew it was coming because I could just feel that it was trying to get going, but delayed. Uh, so this month, I my cycle lasted a total of five days. I wore 15 hats. Uh, I also wore my original ruby cup and three interlabial pads. So I like to go through these by day. I track my cycle on an iPhone app and I also put down what cloth pads I'm wearing in there. So I this is the easiest way to do it for me. So I started my cycle first thing in the morning and I put on this beautiful 12 inch Lazy Creek Boutique. It's this awesome rainbow OBV dye on the top and WinPro on the bottom and it is a moderate. Second pad is another Lazy Creek Boutique. It's a knit topped WinPro backed heavy and I did wear this one with one of the interlabial pads. It's, um, you know, there's the Lazy Creek Boutiques still blow my mind. They're so thin and floppy, like, look at us, <laughs> but they absorb so much liquid, it's insane. So then I use another interlabial pad and put on this 14-inch heavy uh, that I made myself. It's this these beautiful little sloths. Um, it is cotton topped and I believe it's polar fleece on the back. Next, overnight, I wore this 14.5 inch yurt craft pad in this amazing geometric kind of astrology like print. Uh, well, the, there are other pads um, in this series that are astrological, so I think that's why I'm thinking that, but it's just this really pretty geometric print. It's a cotton topper, wind pro on the back, and it is a heavy. Uh, it's got three stars. So when I woke up in the morning on the second day, I was still um, having quite a heavy cycle. Uh, I put on this pad tie cloth pad right after I got out of the shower. It is absolutely awesome. It's a cotton top and I believe it's polar fleece on the back. Uh, it's a moderate, um, but I did wear it with my ruby cup. And the next one is another Lazy Creek Boutique. This is a 12 inch knit top wind pro -backed. Again, um, I was wearing my Ruby Cup this day, so what I normally do is whenever I use the washroom uh, on my really heavy days, and this is still a very heavy day for me, I check my Ruby Cup because sometimes I can bleed very quickly. So I would empty it uh, whenever I use the restroom and I would also change my pad. So I changed into that. And then around dinner time, I again um, emptied it. It wasn't all the way full. I think I was probably not even up to the 15 milliliter mark, which is right here. Um, but I would have been full had I not been emptying it a little bit more frequently. Those first two days were very, very heavy, abnormally heavy, actually. Um, so I put on this 14 inch, another Lazy Creek Boutique. This one is also a heavy uh, knit top, wind pro back. Look at Gizmo. Oh, he's in the rain. So cute. And then overnight that night, I again, I wore my Diva Cup, or sorry, not my Diva Cup, my Ruby Cup. I wore a Diva Cup for five years. It was the only cup I owned, so I sometimes call everything a Diva Cup, um, but I certainly w was using my Ruby Cup this cycle. So this is a 14-inch uh, pad from... Um, Eco Owl by Netta. It's just, a, I think, a standard fleece on the back and cotton on the top. And it's a very comfy, light pad. Like, there's not a lot of weight to it, even though it's a heavy. And I wore this one to bed. And I find this one really comfortable at night because you get the nice wide coverage. So if you move around a lot in your sleep like I do, those ones work really well for me in the evening. So on the third day, I woke up and I emptied my ruby cup. Oh, I used another one of these interlabial pads before I started using the ruby cup. The, these were all used on the first day of my cycle. Um, but on my 
let me see, one, two, three, third day, I woke up and put on another Lazy Creek Boutique. As you could probably tell, I think presently Lazy Creek Boutique is my favorite pad maker. It changes. I love them all. There's so many that I'm absolutely in love with. But I just, uh, there's something about knit pads and the thinness of the Lazy Creek Boutique pads right now. I'm just loving it. So this is my 12 inch peanut butter and jammin knit topper. Win Pro on the back, and it is a, uh, you can't see that, let's see, there we go, a heavy pad. All right, and then I have, I got two of these really awesome OBV rainbow splash pads uh, from Lazy Crook Boutique at the same time, so this is another 12 inch, it's just in a slightly different colorway, uh, Win Pro on the back, and it is also a moderate, and then to bed that night, I wore, uh, for the first time, this amazing knit-topped fleece back pad from Maui Girl. Um, Maui Girl, she makes a lot of uh, cloth diapers and children's apparel, but she also makes scrundies, and that's how I originally found her. She's made quite a few pairs of scrundies for me, like five or six, seven pairs, quite a few pairs uh, for me at this point, and she um, had been discussing making mama cloth, which she terms mama cloth. I know that, of course, there are many people who use cloth pads, not just mothers, but um, she was talking about making this on her site, and she was referring to it as mama cloth, because most of her clientele um, are women who purchase cloth diapers from her. So she was going to be doing like combo sets with cloth pads and cloth diapers. And I I heard her discussing it. She's now got testers out, but before she had even started um, testers, I asked her to make me a couple 14-inch pads. Uh, they were supposed to be moderate. Um, they ended up being overnights, which is fine. I can wear them to bed. I generally prefer to wear my knit pads during the day. Um, but look at the fabric. So she made me three. This is the first one I wore, this amazing T-Rex knit topper. Um, and it was fantastic. It's a little bit bulky. Oh, there you are. It's a little bit bulky, so not not super bulky, but it's definitely, not, you know, feels very thick compared to the Lazy Creek boutiques I've been wearing, which are paper thin. Uh, but that's fantastic for overnight. It had great coverage. Uh, it washed up really well, um, and I, her stitching is fantastic. So I really hope that she continues on this cloth pad making journey because I will definitely be buying more from her in the future. And then on my fourth day, I actually stopped wearing my cup um, and realized that my cycle was almost gone. It, it had went from being extremely heavy to almost gone pretty much overnight. Um, so I woke up in the morning and my cycle was really light, but I wasn't sure if it was going to come back and surprise me. So even though I wasn't wearing uh, my cup, I did put on a heavy pad and this is from Pad Thai Cloth. It is a beautiful OBV topper. Um, I just, I can't get over it. This is probably my favorite OBV pad still, even with all the awesome Lazy Creek boutiques, just because the topper <laughs> and these jewel tones, it's it's impossible for you to see it, but it almost shimmers. It's seriously so pretty. I want to put it in a frame and hang it on my wall. Um, wore this, and honestly, even though it was heavy, I really didn't end up needing it. Uh, it's super comfy to wear, but it was more than I needed because my cycle was pretty much gone. So uh, by, I wore this to almost dinner time, hoping that maybe I would get a little bit more use, um, and it didn't. So after dinner, I changed into this 12-inch um, Figley's pad. Uh, it's cotton topped, Win Pro on the back, and I wore this one to bed. Um, like for the rest of the day and overnight just had some little bit of spotting. But then when I woke up on the fifth morning, there was a little bit of flow when I first woke up. So I was worried that, okay, maybe it was coming back. So I took this off and I put on this brand new 11 inch hoo hoo rags pad that I got. It's a Sherpa topper in Win Pro back. And this is her overnight heavy pad. Um, and I, the reason I was wearing a heavy pad, even though my cycle wasn't super heavy was because I had just gotten this in the mail and I really wanted to try it. I have, I don't have anything with Sherpa and it's kind of like an exposed core style. So I was interested to see how that worked. 
and it ended up working really well. I found this very comfortable. It washed well. It is fraying a little bit, um, but that's going to stop um, once it gets it all out of its system. It, I think it'll need to be washed maybe one more time, and I'll trim the threads, and it won't even it won't even do that. But it, it was very minimal fraying, and it is very comfortable. If you haven't tried a Sherpa topper, I highly suggest it. It wicks really quickly. It stays really dry, and it's super soft against your skin. I was surprised how much I liked it. And of course, even though it's white, it washes up beautifully. Like, these are white, too, and I have no trouble getting them um, back to the way they were uh, with my normal wash routine. So, And then on the fifth night, um, I wore this for most of the day, and then again after dinner I changed. And I put this on. It is a 14-inch straight style hoo-hoo rags and a cotton topper and a wind pro back. And I wore this for the remainder of the evening and to bed overnight just to see if anything happened. And it didn't even get used. There was absolutely nothing on this pad when I got up. So I took it off when I had a shower and I was done my cycle. So that was a total of 15, if you were keeping count cloth pads. If you have any questions about the makers, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I hope that you all have a fantastic day. Bye!